I'm bringing up to the stage two really smart gentlemen. Uh, one comes to us from Pakistan. He is the CEO of a large, significant game studio called Game Storm Studios, as well as OZ Technology, he'll tell you about. And also just arriving this morning, after a 42-hour Hairbrain Saga to get to Dubai, Brooklyn Eric, who is the Chief Marketing Officer and co-founder of a really cool company called Rad NFTV. Please give a round of applause to Brooklyn and Rahil. Yay. All right, so uh, can I get the slide presentation screen? So you've heard very cheap fees on BSV. You've heard you can put NFTs on chain because it's so cheap. Nifty Jigs minted 175,000 NFTs last year for just 175 US dollars. That's why we're seeing all kinds of NFTs like these games and art and collectible dogs emerging on BSV. Now to talk to you about how his company is going to be using BSV, let's uh, turn to Brooklyn and tell us how rad is rad. Here's a couple of slides of your channels. Uh, yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for having me here, Jimmy. Um, Rad NFTV, we are a streaming platform primarily focused on building tools for Web3 video. Um, how we got there was started the company uh, in 2015, um, started off as a distribution platform for virtual reality, um, augmented reality, 360 video. We were actually called Little Star back then. Um, one of the first companies to really focus heavily on distributing um, immersive content. Um, those files were gigantic, and so as we were storing, moving around, streaming those files, we ended up building an in-house um, P2P file sharing system called Aura. Um, a lot of our engineers came from like LimeWire, Spotify, um, LimeWire back in the news lately. And um, so these guys really have a deep history in, uh, in P2P and um, sort of these uh, immersive technologies. Um, over the years, we started um, getting less into just the immersive space and um, kind of limped into the uh, traditional streaming. Um, never with the intent to, you know, compete with like a Netflix or Hulu or anything like that, but we're kind of this geeky corner of the internet where it's not, um, you know, user-generated content. We have, it's all premium, very well made. Um, we have a lot of esports, um, uh, sports entertainment, um, anime, documentaries, stuff like that. Um, and then in 2017, um, we really started adding in a lot of these uh, Web3 um, options. So smart contracts where people could self-publish, um, set their own royalties. Uh, and that's kind of led us to where we are today, where um, we're on about half a billion devices. So we're on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, PlayStation VR, um, a bunch of smart TVs, iOS app. Um, we reward people in crypto, so um, uh, instead of the, uh, the pay to watch, the watch to earn type of model. Um, but then for creators, as we started uh, making these Web3 tools for video, um, we realized that, you know, we're, why sort of focus on, on one chain um, when our, our P2P file manager could handle them all and really give people a choice. And that's how we started looking into BSV. Um, some of our investors and partners are like Disney, Sony, Fox, WWE, we have some really big media companies. It's tough for them to come to Ethereum or some of these other blockchains and um, really have the opportunity to do a lot of minting of NFTs or streaming video in general. Um, and as we started looking into BSV, it just really made a lot of sense um, where, you know, scales quickly, low payments, um, kind of checked a lot of boxes. And then for us, it was good to have on the file manager. If you're uploading a piece of content to our platform, you can see it all, just plain numbers right there. Here's how much it is to go on Ethereum. Here's how much it is to go on Solana. Here's how much it is on BSV. Um, and kind of make your choice for there. What's the comparison of the price difference? Give us a sample comparison. I mean, it's not even close. It's, uh, BSV is not even a penny at, in most cases. Um, everything else. And again, it's, uh, it's, it's just more about the choice for the user, yeah. but our users are both, you know, kind of the everyday content creators making stuff for YouTube that are looking for new distribution. And we have uh, sort of these big Hollywood studio partners. So important to have a little bit of both. You have one more slide, I think, to show. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, and this is just kind of a, you know, a slide about some, some of the technologies we currently offer on our platform. As I mentioned, um, uh, sort of uh, started in the immersive world, have moved into Web3. Um, we have an NFT marketplace, so content creators can come to our platform. Um, they can launch an NFT collection to fund their content creation and then in turn have distribution on our platform to the 500 uh, million devices that we're offered on. So right now we're really focused on building out the creator portal and um, providing more choices, uh, as I mentioned, for content creators and companies to, uh, to scale um, their abilities. All right, fantastic. I'll take this yep. from you for a second. Now we're going to turn to games. We've gone from live streaming and NFTs to games. And so micropayments are really powerful. There's a company in the U.S. called Haste Arcade, which has created a platform where you can earn small amounts of money from the amount for example, Ahmed pays to play a video game, 25 cents in the old arcade days. If you get on the leaderboard, everyone who comes after you, if they don't beat your score, you get a tiny little fraction of their payment, which is a really inventive business model. And the company generating a lot of transactions on our chain is Crypto Fights. It's an esports game, like a Dungeons and Dragons style a dice roll game. You make an avatar, you roll dice to do a battle move, they fight each other. They use our chain not just for micropayments and creating NFTs, but to record every battle move to the chain for battle data integrity in a world of esports betting getting big so that they can record by date and time all of the history of the games. Here's a video of some of their game mechanics. If you could turn down the bottom just a little bit, I'm gonna talk over this. Um, so basically, you'll see here they've done branding deals with Zenoscope, which is a big graphic novel producer to turn their characters into avatars in the game. They record every attack, defense, battle move as a separate data point onto the blockchain so that you can recreate the battles later and actually evaluate them. You create avatars and then you roll dice. You play uh, all kinds of different characters. They're licensing from some big IP owners such as Xenoscope as I mentioned and um, creating a really cool game. This game alone generates on any given day two, three, sometimes more million BSV transactions a day on one game. Compare that to CryptoKitties, which a few years ago crashed the Ethereum network just when people started buying CryptoKitties NFTs. Here's some of the avatars you can create through their branding deals with Xenoscope. I hope you check it out, CryptoFights, and see some of the power of BSV gaming. For a new entrant into the game space, let's welcome Rahil, who's gonna tell you about his company, a very big game publisher called GameStorm Studios, and what they'll be doing with BSV. Well, thank you, Jimmy, thank you, everyone. So GameStorm Studios, uh, we have been developing games for past 12 years. We have right now more than 1,000 games live globally, especially on Google Play Store. We are the T1 publishers working directly with Google Play. And uh, recently, uh, we have been spending like almost half a million dollars. That is our ad spend on Google Play monthly. So uh, over a billion downloads and there's so many more titles to come. So the GameStorm Studios have been uh, developing casual, hyper-casual, uh, shooting, sniper shooting, all sort of games, and especially one of our farming games, uh, which is actually uh, what I would say, it's a social farming game where users interact with each other. Uh, users, you know, players can actually invite uh, their friends and family to look at their farm, and they trade together with the local in-app currencies. And this is where I would like to bring uh, the next important thing about gaming on blockchain and especially the play to earn model, uh, Jimmy. Yep. And that is where we are coming on BSV blockchain because uh, especially this game uh, has a very right uh, use case for play to earn model. Yep. So if, uh, for example, uh, I have a very special NFT that has a special power and one of my friends wants to be on uh, his uh, farm and we can trade together. And that is where users are being paid for their games right now. So play to earn and blockchain is, is, is definitely the next big, big, big thing coming up. And uh, for that, uh, to reduce the price and for fast, reliable blockchain, we are using blockchain, we are using BSV blockchain to bring our games on uh, this platform. And a few uh, more things to mention. So recently we uh, the fan art, obviously. So these are a couple of NFTs I would like to mention. So this is, uh, we did uh, NFTs for uh, Ronaldo and a t-shirt for Ronaldo and uh, uh, Michael Jordan. And this went like huge, like uh, NFTs are the typical use case for blockchain NFTs. 
A few more things. So this is um, a very interesting use case uh, for a blockchain. Is one of our monster truck games where users compete with each. So you can invite your friend to compete. Uh, you have a monster truck. Uh, your friends own a monster truck. You spend tokens. So you compete together. For example, five players compete in a gaming room. They all uh, put like hundred tokens. So the winner takes all. So first three winners takes all the tokens. It's a very interesting use case we're bringing on the BSV blockchain as well. So uh, a few more, uh, you know, see the, we're coming up with our own metaverse and uh, another, uh, uh, we are coming up with our own token, uh, GSS token on BSV blockchain. And this is an also like, uh, just to mention like crypto fights. So they, uh, one of our games where users build their own NFTs uh, with unique powers and they compete with each other and the player, the winner takes all. So but this is uh, so far, uh, you know, uh, whatever uh, the upcoming projects as well from the game some studios. And what about the apes? I want to see the apes. People like apes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is uh, a very recent inspired from Board, uh, Board Ape Yard Club. So uh, we are coming up with, uh, we're bringing these apes, uh, you know, we developed it's just a fan art and we are bringing this on BSV blockchain and the NFTs are out there in the market and uh, I think uh, within next two weeks, we will be able to publish on BSV. Fantastic. Can't wait for some of those games. Go check out and download these games from what, iOS store as well as Android stores. Right, Rahil? So uh, almost, as I said, that we have almost 1,000 games live on Google Play Store. We publish globally. We're working with uh, different app stores globally, but most of the games are live on Google Play and Apple App Store. So now let's talk about the choice of blockchain, because I know Brooklyn, both your companies have NFTs, they're using blockchain. How do you compare the ability, for example, to put the asset on chain with BSV efficiently and the cost of doing the transactions versus other chains? And why do you think companies should look at BSV? Uh, yeah, for us, like I mentioned earlier, that was a, a huge thing for some of our big partners where, um, you know, it's going to be impossible to get a, a company even half the size of Disney across the line, unless it's um, very scalable. Uh, Can't be sixty dollars per NFT. Co correct. Yeah. Um, but but as you just mentioned, it was also for us is just uh, having another choice for our users, um, not being just short sighted and thinking just all NFTs had to go on Ethereum or these could only go on Solana. Um, we want our creators to be able to publish um, and have the choice of chain and be able to compare prices. Sure. Rahil, any thoughts on that? So uh, the thing is, uh, as you know, that uh, the increasing cost, increasing gas prices, actually, uh, you see people are preferring off-chain. Yeah. So this is where I would, I really like the idea of uh, BSV blockchain, where the cost is like almost free. The minting cost is like uh, zero. So uh, recently, uh, we were publishing an OpenSea and an Ethereum platform, but the mm -hmm. prices were so huge that uh, we saw really decrease in minting. Mm -hmm. So we are uh, gradually we are shifting on BSV and we see that uh, uh, the, the community is building, people are spending more, people are going more and more on-chain transactions rather than going off-chain. So this is pretty interesting. Yeah, and that's important because, you know, recently there was a situation where AWS servers went offline exactly. and people could not access their NFTs they bought, for example, an OpenSea because the NFT asset they bought doesn't live on chain and you're basically depending on AWS servers, which is basically you're going back to the world of depending on a centralized data server, which is kind of what blockchain was designed to get past. Um, and so that's an example of why there's a benefit to having assets on chain when it's efficient. Let's talk about what kind of partners or investors you're looking for here. And Brooklyn, you have news today, uh, announcement of an investment deal in your company. Yeah. Um... Just uh, went live with the announcement, or going live in yeah, a few press hours, release is I going think. Out today press release sometime. is going out today, but yes, closed yes. Um, yeah, just investment yes. with Air Ventures um, into our company. So we've raised about $15 million total now, and Air came in pretty significantly there. Yeah. Um, we're heading Congratulations. Pretty, thank you, thank you. We're heading uh, deep into our Series B now, so um, going down that road. Um, and then looking to connect with people here, that anyone that's into uh, Web3 video. Yeah. Yeah, Web3 video. And I, I like that you're really focused on making things useful for content creators and users. Everyone, remember that. Blockchain needs to be useful. 
Don't have a coin or an NFT just to have one. Make something useful. That's our BSV ethos. Raheel, what kind of partners, investors, or allies are you looking to meet here? So, Jimmy, uh, you see gaming makes more, uh, it's, uh, gaming bridges the gap between uh, blockchain and uh, the users. So, people are uh, getting more and more knowledge there, getting more and more awareness about what blockchain is and what are NFTs and the more practical advantage, the more practical use of NFTs and play to earn model comes from gaming. So looking uh, for, uh, you know, uh, like uh, media partners, we are looking for, uh, you know, more, more gaming publishers, the games that we can bring uh, from our platform uh, with BSV, uh, with other blockchains and also the community builders. So, so you see the right use of NFTs comes uh, on games with the right play to earn model in place and with right token economics backed by it. So I think this is uh, from my side. All right, last question very quickly to each of you. What are your company's growth plans and what, are you, can, we, what can we expect from your company in the future? Yeah, we're in a pretty high growth mode right now. Um, as mentioned, just closed uh, some more funding and going hard into the Series B. So um, going to be hiring a ton of engineers, um, looking to expand with new content platforms and partners. So um, growth is on the docket for us the this Jimmy year. Jimmy Wynn Channel coming. It, it, coming soon. soon. Coming Jimmy Wynn Channel. Maybe, yeah. So we are actually expanding right now. Uh, we are coming up with more. We're partnering with other game publishers. We are, uh, you know, uh, bringing them games uh, on our platform. We are publishing them globally, and we are making them uh, to play to earn model. We are bringing in NFTs and our tokens as well. So we're coming up with a unique token with one token for all. So you have one, one token, token for yes. all. Yes. One token I like for that. all. I like that. Like one blockchain for all. One world, yes. one chain. Could you advance to the next slide so we can wrap up? Me, thank you. So I want to thank you for sitting through this hour of our journey through BSV. It's scaling power. It's power and using the blockchain's essence of time stamping to create a more honest and efficient world. And our panel's about fintech payments and now of games and NFT. If you want to learn more, come to our BSV Global Blockchain Convention, which will be here in Dubai at the Grand Hyatt, May 24th, 25th, and 26th. I'll be your host and MC for the three days, and you'll hear more people like this from around the world, as well as other leaders from the general blockchain and digital asset space. Our mission is very simple. Birth the original power of Bitcoin to what it was meant to be, which is a massively scalable blockchain and digital currency system that's actually used every day for the world for something better more honest, more efficient, not just be a speculative investment asset. If you're interested in learning more about that journey, come find us. We've got a BSV blockchain booth here. Tomorrow we have another BSV hour from 1.50 to 2.50 p.m. where you'll hear panels about use of the BSV blockchain to digitally transform entire nations as well as build stronger communities and metaverses. So join us at 1.50 tomorrow for another hour of BSV. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your time at AIBC.